Hi, my name is Tom and welcome at XPV. I'm going to be your instructor for today. And if you have any questions at the end of the video, please ask us, we are happy to help. You can find our information right here. Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make furniture look good inside of XPV. The first thing what I'm going to do after importing my model is I'm going to set up a simple scene in the showcase. So I open up my showcase and I can find my model inside. I already added some basic materials, but I will be explaining this a bit more later on in the video. The first thing I want to do is select the default inside of my hierarchy and change the background type to color. This will automatically change it to a white color and this will blend in my AO map from the floor into the background. The next thing I want to do is add some more lights. So inside of the insert tab, I'm gonna select under lights, the spotlight. This will add one light into my hierarchy. If I zoom out a bit, I can find it above my couch. I'm gonna drag it down and more in front. Just find an angle that looks the best. Something like this. Then I want to change the intensity from 1 to around 0 0.4. This will make it look a bit too dark, but what I'm going to do is create more lights to evenly light up this scene. So what I can do is right click on the spotlight and select duplicate. This will create an exact duplicate of the spotlight. And I can move it to a new direction, to a new placement inside of the scene. So I can put it on the other side so I get a nice even lit on the front side of the couch and I want to make another duplicate for the back of the couch so I can move this one more to the back and again increase the intensity from this one because I will only have one light on the back to around 0.5 Once I have my basic lighting set up, I can see that I have an evenly lit scene. But another thing I can see here is a hard cutoff of this spotlight. So what I want to change is select the spotlight and increase the angle of the light. When I do that, that hard edge will disappear because I'm moving it outside of my scene. The next thing I want to do is to add a camera. So I go back to insert and select under camera the perspective. Select the camera and instead of moving the physical camera, you can move your own view to the view you want to have inside of your configurator. So I'm going to move it something like this. Make sure it's almost in the middle. And then we can select the set camera button in the options. This will set the camera to the current view, select confirm. And now if you move away, you can see that the camera moved to your previous view. The camera is focused on zero zero in the world. So what you can do to change it is select the transform focus button and move it up a bit because now your object will spin around the zero zero point so it will be a bit too low. So move it up a bit to about the height, so the center of the height of the couch around here. 
and now we can select save changes before we go into preview this scene I'm going to change some more camera settings so if we go to the camera and scroll down a bit we can find the constraint section in here I want to check the pan and also the lockup hemisphere so the pan will disable uh, the ability for the customer to pan around inside of the scene and the lockup hemisphere will make sure that the customer cannot scroll under the couch another thing I want to do is set the constraints for the minimum and maximum zoom these values correspond with the values of this grid so for the minimum zoom I want around two so it will be two squares out of the middle and then we can see if we trace that around that I will not hit the couch so we will not have any issues with clipping the maximum zoom I want to be around five so we could zoom out five squares away from this couch again select save and now we can go to the preview so inside of this preview we can now see the evenly lit scene we can move around the middle of the couch we can zoom in but just too far to have some clipping so we will have to change that to zoom out a bit more and the maximum zoom out is this and this will be fine so what we can do is go back to the showcase and change the minimum zoom so select the camera again scroll down and I can change the minimum zoom to around 2.5 save my changes and check it again in the preview now I can zoom in but this is the furthest I can zoom in now and this is fine I have no issues with clipping I can zoom in far enough to see the fabric and I can zoom out far enough to see the whole overview everything is evenly lit I get some nice shadows on my materials and everything looks fine so the next thing we are going to do is to change up some of the materials so if we go to the materials I can open up my sofa folder and in here we can find my AO plane my fabric and the metal for the frame and also the pillows so what I made is a simple physical material extended with a diffuse map an environment map and a normal map also I added the AO map so the shadows we already created inside of our 3d program these won't show up on your preview but they will inside of your scene but I want to be able to change these pillows from one color to another so what I can do is underneath the save change button I can select the duplicate button and change this for example to pillows blue and select confirm this will create an extra material with the exact same values as this one but now I can change the diffuse color to overlay a blue tint over my existing material and I can save my changes the same I can do for my white fabric of the couch so I can duplicate this one and make a darker gray one so let's say fabric gray select confirm it will create another material and inside of here change the diffuse color to a more darker color something like this save changes and this color can be anything you want you can play around with it make crazy colors the next thing I want is not only to have normal fabrics but I also want a leather so I'm gonna duplicate this one once more select confirm I can change the name here to leather change my diffuse color back to white for now and to change my diffuse map 
I select the green assign button, select my basic letter color. Now you can see it's changed, but I also have to change my normal map to my letter one. I'm going to decrease this value a bit to 0 0.5, so it won't be that obvious. And this time I'm also going to use a roughness map instead of a roughness value. So I select a sign, select my roughness map, and change my value to around 1.4. This creates creates a nice reflection on my map. And now to give it a brownish color, select the diffuse color and pick the color you want. Something like this. And save my changes. So now I've created a leather tileable texture. Another texture I already made is the metal one. This one is really easy to make. It's only a standard gray color. It can be any gray you want. And then we have a environment map. So a simple studio setup. And then we have the roughness value of 0 0.24 and a metalness value of 0 0.58. That's the only things you need to create a metal-like reflective surface. If you want a more matte metal finish, you select a color. Again, we have the same environment map, but now we have a metalness value of 1, 0 0.88, and a roughness value of 0 0.6 to create this matte look. All these materials now have to be added to the material groups. So I go back to my project, Select my sofa, go to configure and select my material groups. Inside of here, I can select the edit button for the correct material group. And in here is my only fabric white. I select the assign material button, go to the correct folder and select the fabrics that I want to add. So in this case, the gray one and the leather one, select and they will be added to your group. For the cushions, I also have to add my blue one. So I assign material, go to the right folder, select my blue pillow, and it's added. For the frame, I already prepared. This one contains the metal and the matte black finish. Another step you have to do is to create the attributes to select all of these materials. So I already prepared some materials. So what you have to do is you select add attribute and select a map group. You give this map group the correct name and you select add node and you will get these nodes. So if you open it up, you only have to select your material group that links it. So in this case, I select my material and select save changes. You have to do this for all three material groups. And then inside of your preview, you can see that we have all the new materials. So we have the blue pillows, we have the leather, and also we have the matte black frame. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to change these materials around using business rules and how to exclude some of them on certain options. Thank you for following along in this lesson and I hope to see you in the next one.